All right then guys, we have the option to show images directly from the public directory in Laravel 8. And basically, you can save files wherever you want within your application since we've got the permission to create directories and files anywhere that we want. There are two ways that I recommend in order to output images on your website. The first way is to store it inside the public directory, right here. And there's also another way which a lot of other people use. And I prefer it when I work on large applications with a lot of images. And that is to link the storage directory to the public directory. If we hop to the folder that we just downloaded from my GitHub repository, you can see a folder called IMG in here. So let's click on it and you can find three images. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Let's right click on the public directory and say reveal and finder. All right. So let's go inside of our public directory and in here, let's create a new directory called images. What we need to do is to go inside our images directory. Let's copy the images that we have from my GitHub repository and let's paste it right inside of the images folder of our Laravel project. Now let's hop back to Visual Studio Code. Let's open our public directory. You can see the image directory that we have and the three images. All right, let's open our index page because we have a couple images right here. So let's scroll down. Well, this is the first one, which is the icon box. Let's actually get rid of everything inside the source. And here, let's create Laravel tags where we want to use the URL function. And inside the URL function, we need to write down the path to our image from the public directory. So let's say images forward slash icon dash box dot jpeg before we save it and test it out in the browser let's go right above our div and let's create laravel tags and let's do one print underscore r just to see what's in url so let's say that we want to print our url single quotes save it and let's hop back to the browser all right let's refresh it well we need to go to the home page Let's scroll down. As you can see right here, the URL method is a helper that is used to generate URLs for your application. And it's exactly the same as the URL that we have right here. You can see that our image has been printed out. So this works fine. Let's get rid of the print underscore R. And let's change it one more time for the second. Well, we could copy it actually for all the other images. Let's replace them. All right, we have another one. Let's scroll down. All right, this is a different one. So let me align it. Get rid of everything in the source. Curly braces, URL method. Inside the URL method, we need to have the path to images forward slash. Well, what was the name actually? All right, team dash section dot JPEG, I guess. Let's see. Oh, dash home. My bad. Let's save it. Hop back to Google Chrome, refresh it, and all of our images have been printed out. The second approach that I would like to show you is to create a symbolic link. And this can easily be done in the command line. So let's hop back to the terminal. And inside the terminal, let's write down PHP artisan. We want to link the storage directory. So let's write down storage colon link. Let's save it. And as you can see right here, a symbolic link has been created from the public storage to the storage app public directory. All right, let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And right here, you can see a storage directory. Let's select every picture that we have and let's drag it right inside of our storage directory. Well, are you sure that you want to move the following four files? Obviously. Let's delete our image folder. All right. Now, if we save it and hop back to Google Chrome, it won't work because we have the wrong path. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code and let's change it up a little bit. Let's scroll down and let's start off with the first one. Right now, it's not stored inside the image directory anymore. So let's change it to storage. Let's copy storage and change it on every single place. All right. Images and that was the last one. Yes, save it, go back to Google Chrome, refresh the page, let me scroll up, 
and we have all of our images printed out. You might wonder which one is the best. And in my opinion, if you want a little bit more security on your images, use the storage way. If you want to keep it simple, create a folder in the public directory and it's fine as well. But just know that using the storage method, you are saving all private images and documents in a storage directory, which will give you full control over files. And later on, you can even allow certain type of users to access the images or documents. And oh yeah, before I wrap up the video, instead of using URL that we have right here, we could also use a method called asset. Let's save it. Let's go back to Google Chrome. Let me scroll up. And we still have four images right here. The asset is a method that is specifically used to include CSS, JavaScript, and image files. But you need to remember that it needs to be stored inside the public directory. So that's the only place where the asset method will look. Either way is fine, whether you use URL or asset.